There are many new features in Polynome version 2.2.9. In this video, we're going to look at new features on the playlists page. So to get to the playlist page, just swipe across and you'll notice that these are now drop down menus. So we can go to the playlist or the playlist manager. So tapping playlist loads up the introduction playlist and you can learn more about playlists by tapping on the info buttons and watching the videos or viewing the web pages. But we're going to go ahead and create a new playlist by tapping the plus button and choose create new playlist and I'll call it demo. And then you can tap it and hit load or you can tap and hold to load it. So we'll begin by adding some presets to this playlist. So you can do that by tapping the plus button and we can choose add presets to playlist. That will take us to the presets library where we can choose a preset to add. So let's just add the default preset. And you can add multiple copies of this if you like, and you'll see that the number of copies in the playlist is notated on the right here. And then let's say we wanted to duplicate this when we're in here. Another way is to tap the plus button and choose duplicate item. And that will just make another copy in here. And they're all still related to the master preset in the presets library. So just to explain what that means, if I hit play here, it's playing what is programmed into this default preset. And all of these items in the playlist are the same because they came from the same thing. Now, if I go ahead and change this, so maybe I change this rhythm to triplets, and then I save, it's going to ask me do I want to update the other three presets in the playlist that have the same name? So if I don't update them, then one changes and the others don't. And then it asks if I want to update the parent preset, and that's the version that exists in the preset library. I'm going to say don't update that either. And then it asks me if I want to update copies of that that exist in other playlists. So again, I'm going to say don't update. So now what we have is this one has triplets and all the rest of them have eighth notes. But if we wanted to change them all, we can save the changes and then we can choose to update the patterns in all of those other instances. And now you'll see that when I tap on this row, that's been updated and this one's been updated. So that's how presets with the same name are related. There's the ability to propagate the changes that you make across all of them or not to propagate those changes. So now let's add another item but this time we want to create a new item in the playlist, not in the preset library. And we'll do that by tapping the plus button and choosing duplicate item with new name. We'll call it default two. Oh, that name exists, so let's call it default three. So now we've got a new preset which is based on the same rhythm and everything that we had in there, but it's got a new name, so that's its own item. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear these apart from the default and default three. So we'll hit the trash button, remove items. Then I'm going to add items with different names. So add presets to playlist and I'll just pick a few of these random items, hit done. Let me remove this example playlist. So one of the new features is the ability to shuffle this playlist. You can do that by tapping on the playlist name and choosing shuffle playlist. And that will basically mix up the items in the playlist. So you might want to do that to mix up the songs that you're playing in your band, or if you've got a practice routine, maybe to change the order. The next new feature added to this menu here is the practice log. So when you tap practice log here, that brings up the practice log and filters on the current playlist. So it's filtering on this playlist demo and it's showing you all of the practice logged for all of the items in that playlist. So at the moment, all I have is the one second that I logged when I hit play before. But if I was to go ahead and load a different playlist from the playlist manager, perhaps this, which is the set list for the tour that I just finished. And now if I go and tap uh, practice log here, so you can see I've got events logged from September 8th, 2016 through to February 18th, 2017. 
in the tempo range 65 to 146. And the last logged event was six days ago. And all of the logged events are here. And if you tap these rows, it takes you to show you those events. And then you can see all of the events here. And then it says what I practiced today and yesterday, this week versus last week, this 30 days versus the previous 30 days. So these arrows tell you whether you've done more or less practice in this period versus the previous period. And then you can click on practice report and view either a summary or detailed report or a report that only contains events that you made notes for. So that's just a quick way to view practice event details for the currently loaded playlist. So I'm going to go ahead and load that demo playlist again. And I'm going to remove all of these items. Then I'm going to click plus and add a preset to the playlist. And I'm going to search for singles with one hand. So let's say I want to create a practice routine where I'm working on single strokes with one hand at a variety of different tempos. So it used to be that you needed to use the playlist controls to change the tempo when the playlist looped. In version 2.2.9, there's a new way of working with multiple tempos. So what you do is tap the pencil icon, select the item, and then go to the actions button at the bottom and choose duplicate selection. And that brings up a number picker to see how many copies you want to make. So I'm going to add nine further copies, which will give us 10 presets in total. When I hit done, we now have 10 versions of this preset. And at the moment, they're all set to 100 BPM. But let's say I want to work on these between 100 and 200 BPM. You could tap on this one and change the tempo. And then tap on this one and change the tempo. But let's say I want to just do this very quickly. You can choose the start tempo in item one and the final tempo in the last item. So let's say 200 is our max. And then you can tap the pencil icon and select all. And then when you tap actions, you have an option for tempo options. So we can either set tempo, which will set them all to be the tempo we specify. We can ramp tempo, which will increase the tempo for each item between those initial and final tempos that we set or random tempos will set random tempos between those initial and final tempos. So remember the initial tempo was 100, the final tempo was 200. So if I choose ramp tempo, you'll see that we go 100, 111, 122, 133. That takes us up to 200 in even steps. And if we use the random tempo option, so select all actions, tempo options, random tempos, you'll see that all of these tempos fall within 100 and 200 BPM, but they're assigned randomly. So at the moment, they're all set to loop. And let's say we want to play them for a few reps each. Again, you can tap the pencil icon, select all, actions, and you can choose rep options. So you can choose to set all of the reps to be the same thing. You can choose to ramp reps which if you set the first item to be one rep and the last item to be 10 reps, then it would increment the reps in the same way that it incremented the tempo. Or you can choose random reps, which again will choose random repeats between your initial and final values. So I'm going to choose set reps. and We'll have one rep each. So now that will play for one and then it will move on to the next one. But in order for that to happen, we need to go to playlist controls, turn on auto advance, and play when advancing. So now we'll get one rep at 100 BPM, and then one rep at 104, and then it jumps to 191, 173, and works its way through all of those different options. Now let's say you wanted to practice this whole playlist, but you wanted to practice it a little bit faster, so you wanted each item in there to be a little bit faster. So, in order to do that, you need to tap and hold on the play button and choose tempo percentage. And that adds this tempo percentage slider. And if you slide this all the way to the left, then all of these will play at 50% of their speed. So 
This one that's 100, it tells you it's going to play at 50% of 100, which is 50 BPM. And this one that's 104 is going to play at 52 BPM. And one of the new features in 2.2.9 is this slider works like the sliders in the Apple program. So if you move away from the slider, you have fine grain control. So it's easy to set the exact percentage that you want. And as you get closer, it goes back to control like this. And this percentage slider is also saved with the playlist. So maybe you practiced it at 100% first. And then you've got through it all and so you think well next time i work on this i want to do it a little bit faster so you can swipe this up to say 105 percent and if you go to play this manager and load a different playlist you'll see that that tempo percentage isn't there because i don't use it on this playlist but if i go back to that demo you'll see that it remembered that i was at 105 percent you can also tap on the slider away from the handle and set the percentage in here. So we can go back to 100% or we can set it to 120%. In the Playlist Manager, we have a couple of new features. One of them is the ability to merge playlists. So let's say we wanted to merge that single stroke practice with my Wishbone Ash set. So you can tap the multi select button choose the playlist that you want to merge in the order that you want them to be merged. And then on the actions button, choose merge to new. We'll call it example merge. And so this playlist you'll see has 29 presets, which is those singles and then my playlist. So that can be useful if you have playlists that represent different sections of a song and you want to create a set list for the whole gig made up of songs with different sections. You'll notice that Polynom knows how long this playlist will take. So let me go back to the demo. You'll see that these are all one rep each and Polynom says it's going to take 14 seconds to play through this whole practice routine. Now you can tap on the playlist time row and that's a quick way to allow you to set all reps. So let's set all reps to be 10 instead of one. And now you'll see that it says this playlist routine is gonna take two minutes and 26 seconds. When I go to the playlist manager, you'll note this little clock icon says two minutes, 26 seconds. That's how long it takes to play through that practice routine. And in the sort options here, you can sort by set list length which is based on the length that you assign to songs for calculating the length of set list or practice length, which is the calculated length that Polynome has calculated that I just showed you. And finally, in the playlist manager, you can multi-select different items, tap on actions and view practice log, and that will show you the practice log events for all of items in all of those playlists. So that's the new features in the playlist and playlist manager in Polynome 2.2.9.